Oh. M. Mom! It's time to get to the bottom of something all of the fans want to know. Well? What's the tea with the bodies? Oh, dead bodies. Yes. Well, you know, when I pass away, I want to have my body waxed. Like wax, like all the hair taken off? No, like Evita. Like Evita. Oh. <laughs> I want to have my body preserved okay. and waxed. I think that'd be nice. And also, when they do the, um, you know, when it, for the, for the embalming process or whatever, I think I would like to do it with mycobiology where the mushrooms eat your body up. I think that'd be a nice way to do it too. It's environmentally friendlier. Ooh, and then you would live on through mushrooms. Yeah, perhaps, I imagine so. We live on either way when we die, when you know the particles break up, right? And that mm -hmm. sometimes the energy goes somewhere too. Good God, that was a poltergeist. <laughs> <laughs> so you have a very famous moment mm -hmm. when you went on a live mm -hmm. and you started talking about Dead bodies. D dead bodies, yes, dead bodies. I was out, you know, going for a stroll on my bicycle, mm -hmm. and then what I thought I saw in the ditch over there was I thought it was a mannequin, but as I got up closer, I realized it wasn't a mannequin, it was a dead body. Boom. And then I was thinking of all the ways I could dress it up, you know? Yeah. Do you ever think about that, dressing bodies up? N no. People like the macabre, so I might as well speak of it. I think we're a little, you know, a little obsessed a little too much with it, but it sells for me, so why not talk about it? But by the time I got up close, I realized it was actually a corpse, a dead body. Dead bodies. How's this look, huh? New looks? Ooh! Yeah. Just Some people just leave them and walk yeah. off because they don't want to sign the paperwork and all that, you know. So you be, sign paperwork. Be called in. You have to sign oh. paperwork and stuff, you know, eyewitness. <laughs> <laughs> eyewitness, you know, I love that. So, everyone, what's the verdict? Is Tammy the drama? Well, you know what? Everybody has to have a little drama in their life. If you don't have drama, you're boring. That's all true. I say. That's true. You know? Sissy That Talk Show is brought to you by Curology. On behalf of our gorgeous, iconic sponsor who we love, we've scoured the internet and found the dirtiest, <laughs> grimiest, <laughs> most greasy and soiled things about you. And now, thanks to Curology, you, Tammy Brown, have the chance to come clean. Just like you can come clean with the range of Curology's products. Groovy, rub-a-dub-a-dub, -dub, right? Lights. Do you do psychedelics? You know, I've never really done psychedelics. I've done mushrooms before, but um, they didn't do much for me. I'm already connected. Who is your favorite drag queen? Well, I, I can't say one. Well, I'll say, you know what I'll say? I'll say, I'll sh give a shout out to Lipsinka. Who is your least favorite drag queen? Least favorite drag queen. God, that's a real hard question. Mm. I don't know, I'm not gonna say that. It's not fair because there's all sorts of drag queens and that's what they do. Mm. God bless Mama Roo, right? <laughs> the fracking. The fracking and other things. <laughs> do you believe in magic? You know, I think magic exists in everybody's heart. Do you secretly think that you are better than Kelly Mantle? I don't think that way. I love working with Kelly Mantles. If I didn't work with Kelly Mantles, I don't know who I'd be working with. I'm sure I'd work with someone else and I'm sure I'd really enjoy them, but I really love Kelly Mantles. I love Kelly Mantles, let it be known, even though she's a hypochondriac and she does know how to play on the stock market really well. How much forehead is too much forehead? Well, I think a lot of forehead's better because you can have more room for more kisses. I don't like when a lover tells you, oh, I need my space. Oh, fuck you. Do you ever need your space? Well, we all need our space. I used to have a MySpace. Did you? I did. Mm -hmm. I did have a MySpace. Nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is something that you've never admitted before? That as a child, I used to have a foot fetish. I used to have this one boy and his name was Dusty, and um, Dusty, and he was he was from the uh, another part of town over there, and um, he they were his parents were fishermen and whatnot, and um, working at the docks and whatnot, and um, I didn't like his feet because they had little grits of sand on them. So but he likes smooth feet. Well, who wants sand on their feet? You get that in your mouth, crunch, crunch. Ow. <laughs> Do you, are your feet on wiki feet? No, are yours? Yes, they are. You really? Yes. Sensual. I think I have a 4.5 out of 5. Okay, well, I have a friend. He used to um, 
show his feet off and he would get money and go buy video games with that money. <laughs> Gotta have some little suspenders on there. Ow! <laughs> Sissy That Talk Show with Joseph Shepard drops every Tuesday on YouTube. And don't miss the After Show podcast when it drops on Fridays on YouTube and on your podcast apps. Double that sissy fun.